got through watching the uh, Brian Castano versus Patrick Teixeira fight. Man, that was a good fight. That was a war. That Brian Castano, man, he's he's a he's a punching machine, dog. I always liked Castano, but you know he, uh, as you can see in the fight, you know he he doesn't have the uh, the knockout power, man. You know some gonna disagree with me, but I mean, come on, right? You could say that Patrick Teixeira just has a chin. I mean, he's just solid like that. But then look with uh, Curtis. Curtis Stevens did to him. You know what I mean? And he has power. And he knocked out Teixeira. So, that, does that mean that um, Brian Castano doesn't have a power? Doesn't mean that. It, does, it just means that he doesn't have the power to put boxes away in a convincing fashion. I mean, or the toughest of fighters. Because Teixeira has a chin. Let's admit it, he does. But Curtis Stevens put him down, knocked him out. So why couldn't Brian Castano get him out of there? He battered his ass though that whole fight. And then you know he called out Jamal Jamel Charlo after the fight. Uh, here's my here's my. I'm gonna give an early prediction if they have a fight, because now he's the WBO champion at 154 now. Brian Castano. But I noticed in this Teixeira fight that Castano, he kind of faded a little bit. He got a little bit faded. The only reason he looked, he still looked it kind of good against Teixeira is because Teixeira was already, he was already out of there. I mean, he was already pretty much done. He was already pretty much done. So, of course he was going to look real good against him at, towards the end because he took the most, he took the most punishment during that fight, so he still was he still was gassed, man. He was gassed. I've never seen Jamel Charlo gassed. I've never seen him gassed, bro. Show me a one fight yet that you've seen Jamel Charlo gassed. I've never seen him gassed. So that fight, if they fight, how it'll end up is Brian Castano likely will do the same thing he was doing with Teixeira. Volume punching, putting pressure on him. What's going to end up happening is Jamel Charlo is going to end up countering him. He's going to counter him and probably knock him out within like maybe six rounds. Or he's going to get faded. He's going to punch himself out because he's not going to, he's not, he's not knocking Jamel Charlo out. It's not going to happen. And he's going to punch himself out and tire himself out. And then Jamel Charlo is going to get him and knock him out. That's how that fight is going. And then boom, there you go. We have an undisputed 154 champ in Jamel Charlo. That's how that fight is going to go. He's going to knock him out within six or seven rounds. Mark my words on that. Likely, they'll probably end up fighting. That doesn't take anything away from Brian Castano. He's a great fighter. He has... He's, he's a great fighter, man. Good, decent engine. But all those punches you throw, when you find out that they're not phasing Jamel Charlo, that's when you're gonna be in trouble. Just my just my take on it. That's how I see it going. So let me know what you thought about this fight. And do you think Brian Castano got what it takes to beat Jamel Charlo? Let me know and drop a comment below. Catch y'all later on the next one.